Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I want to thank you for tuning in again. Definitely want to thank you for watching my videos, giving me feedback on it. Uh, as I get closer to retirement, this is a pretty nice hobby to have, to be able to pass on information as far as hunting and rifles are concerned, which is what I enjoy as a second passion. All right, well this is going to be a rock chuck shooting video. And I am going to be using my AR-15 or MSR in the 24-inch barrel. Now the reason for the 24-inch over a 20-inch, 18-inch, 16-inch is simply because I like velocity. Velocity translates into flatter shooting within the cartridge limitations, okay? The 223 is a very small cartridge with a 22 caliber bullet. I shoot generally between 50 grain up to 64 grain uh, max. Uh, I like to stay over 3,000 feet per second. Okay, so I'm going to go over, you'll actually see the rifle shooting in just a few minutes. But I also pulled up a, an interesting comment about rock chucks uh, from IdahoPestCom.com. Uh, it says, however, the biggest threat they pose is that marmots can carry a bunch of nasty things like ticks that cause Lyme disease or Rocky Mountain spotted fever. When you see a rock chuck in the wild, it's best to admire it from a distance. That gets us right back to the 24 inch barrel shooting rock chucks at a distance. So without uh, wasting any more of your time, let's get out and get to shooting. Again, thanks for tuning in, thanks for watching, thanks for giving me uh, uh, good feedback. Appreciate it. Hello everybody, I'm out here again uh, doing some rock chuck hunting. This time I brought my 24 inch uh, 223 and I'm shooting 60 grain VMAX. Now I got some shots and hopefully I got them on camera for you. So. Let me swing this around and uh, you can see the alfalfa field, you can see the rocks there I hope. And that's kind of where they're diving in and out of. But uh, I got a couple that are playing some pretty good hide and seek and don't let me get it on camera. But uh, if they poke out long enough and I can get that camera on them, you'll see some shots. So hang on folks, let's get to shooting. And to give you an idea of how far I'm shooting, anywhere between 100 and 150 yards to those rocks right there. Maybe a little bit further. Uh, let's get a good look, zoom for you. Yeah, those rocks right there. And then there's some more rocks up that canyon up there. And I range that right at about 300, 325 yards. So that's where I've seen them. We'll kind of wait them out, folks. Hang on. All right, I hope you can see him right there. Lock and load, see if he'll hold on. All right, here we go. Well, I think I need to sight in this rifle. What do you think, guys? Had to adjust. There's more there. There's some screen about right there. Shooting a 60 grain VMAX in my 24 inch 223. We'll see if they pop out again. 
Get another shot. All right, there's one right there on top of that rock. About 220 yards, not that far. But I don't know where these 60 grains are hitting. Oh, well, let's give it a shot. All right, it was shooting high. Now I'm dead on, looks like. All right, we'll see if there's more. All right, there's one right there in that grass, kind of sticking his head up. There we go. All right, East Toast. Let's see if there's more. I don't know if you can see them right there by that tree. I'll we'll give it a shot. Well, he ducked out. Oh wait, they'll be back. We've got a few of them that are kind of dancing around right in those rocks there, all the way to that tree. So if they hold still long enough, I'll get a focus on them and We'll get a shot. All right, we'll see if he'll stay there. This would be a long shot, about 300 yards, right there in the road. Can you see him? Okay, toast. Hope you saw that. Well, that's going to do it for me today. As you can see, these afternoon thunder showers come up and time for me to get the heck out of the hay. A couple of things I forgot today. I forgot to have my brass catcher. So I spent more time looking for brass than I did for critters. There's still a couple out there that are dancing around, but, you know, I'll leave them for next time. No matter what, folks, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Please do subscribe, but no matter what, Sincerely, God bless you all. See you next time. Goodbye.